we are going to do, we can do some chest openers. We're also going to do some hip openers and some twists, if that sounds good. Um, and we are going to start in standing. So you're going to come wide on your mat. You're going to stand in like a goddess pose. So your finger, uh, sorry, your toes towards the outside edges, nice wide stance. Yeah, you can face whatever direction you like. They're hard. Okay, not a fun thing. Good to know. Okay, so you're going to come into your, your wide stance. Okay, so you're going to take a nice deep inhale through the nose, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, you're going to sink into your goddess. You're going to bring your palms through center, turn your fingertips down towards the floor. And then as you inhale, palms come up, sweep the sky. As you exhale, sink down into your goddess, hands through center, fingers down towards the floor. As you inhale, straighten the legs, come all the way up. We're going to do three more like this. last one this time as you exhale you're going to bend your knees back into that goddess you're going to interlace your fingers behind your lower back stay in your goddess take an inhale open your collarbones as you exhale you're going to lift your right heel and turn your head towards the left inhale come through center as you exhale lift your left heel turn your head towards the right draw your left shoulder back a little bit Inhale through center. If it starts to feel good as you turn your head, you can start to move your hands away from your lower back, but only if you can keep your collarbones open. Beautiful. We're going to go three more to each side. This has a name in Pilates, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's not how I feel. Every time I turn my head to the left, my neck's like, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> We're going to go one more to make ourselves even. Beautiful. You'll keep the interlace of the hands. Inhale, straighten the legs. Turn your toes parallel. And then as you exhale, you'll forward fold, bringing those hands any amount over your head. You can stay here. Otherwise, if it feels good into your body, you can start to bend into one knee and then the other, just shifting your weight from side to side, keeping that forward fold. We're going to take two more breaths here. And then you're going to release your hands down to the floor. You're going to pivot towards the right. So your right foot forward, your left foot back. You're in your runner's lunge. Up on your fingertips. You can lower your back knee if you want to. You're going to in-house reach the chest towards the front of your mat. And then as you exhale, you're going to straighten that front leg, come into your pyramid pose. Inhale, come into your runner's lunge. Exhale, into your pyramid. We'll do three more here. Last one. You're going to come back into your runner's lunge. Keep your torso nice and low. Make sure you're wide enough in through your feet. You're going to float your hands back behind you, coming into your power lunge. You can stay here. Otherwise, take the funky interlace of your fingers, so that opposite grip to what you normally would. And then think of drawing your elbows together. So glue your thumbs to your sacrum, and then think of drawing your elbows towards each other to open the front of your shoulders. Take one more inhale here. You can take one more exhale. You're going to keep the interlace, press in through the front leg. You're going to come all the way up to crescent, and then you can start to move those hands away from your lower back, maybe coming to a little baby back bend in through the chest. Bend nice and deep into that front leg. We'll take three more breaths here. You're going to release your hands. Inhale, sweep them up to the sky, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, hands frame the front foot. We're going to step back into our high plank. As always, you can lower your knees if you need to. Engage through your thighs. Gentle grip at the mat with your finger pads. Press out of your hands. We're going to be here for five more breaths. That's it. Send energy out through your heels. Engage through your legs. Nice. That looks great.
we're going to come into our side plank so ground down through your right hand drop your right knee if you need to otherwise you'll swivel to the outside edges of the feet you can stagger your hand can reach up to the sky or you can bring your hand behind your head and then reach your elbow back without turning your rib cage up to the sky and gently press your head back into your hand we've got four more breaths here gazes wherever is best for your neck one more breath we'll come through plank and we're going to come to the other side so ground down through your left hand you can stagger you can stack or you can drop your knee press your head back into your right hand if you're bending that elbow open the elbow to the sky without rotating your ribcage up we've got four more breaths And then we're going to come back into our plank pose. We're coming into our first chaturanga. So you're going to shift forward, elbows hug the body lower down. Knees can be down if you need to. We're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. You're going to come all the way down to your belly. Bring your fingertips off to the edges of the mat, up onto the little cupcake hands, elbows to the sky. Inhale, peel your chest up, press your pubic bone down. And then as you exhale, you're gonna dip your right shoulder, look towards the left. You should feel it in through the front of your right shoulder. Inhale, come back up through center. And then as you exhale, switch it out. Does this feel okay on your shoulders? Good. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. We'll do two more to each side. And then once you're even, you'll roll yourself down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We're coming back to Chaturanga, so you can keep your knees down if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press the floor away. Come to your Chaturanga and hold for five. Yep. Four. Three. Two. One. Press all the way to your plank. And then downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. You're going to step your left leg forward in between your hands, coming into your runner's lunge, up on your fingertips. Inhale, reach the chest forward. So step your foot a little bit more forward for me. Yep, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's it. Inhale, reach that chest forward. And then as you exhale, you'll send the hips up and back, pyramid pose. Inhale, come into your runner's lunge. And then as you exhale, send it back. We'll take three more here. Come into your runner's lunge, take an inhale, ground down through your feet. As you exhale, you'll float your fingers back behind you. Interlace your fingers behind you. Glue your fingers to, uh, glue your thumbs to your sacrum and then open your, sorry, pull your elbows towards each other to open your collarbones. You're going to take two more breaths here. And then you'll bring your torso all the way up right into your crescent lunge. You can start to take those hands away from your lower back, maybe coming into a little baby back bend in the upper back. We'll stay here for four more breaths. You release the, very good.
Oh God. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so we're in our lunge. You're going to release that interlace. Inhale, sweep the arms up into your crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, hands will come down to the floor. We're coming back to our high plank pose. And you take an inhale. We're going to add some movement to this. As you exhale, you're going to float your right leg up to hover. You can drop your left knee if you need to. Take an inhale. Without rounding your spine, as you exhale, you're going to draw your right knee to the outside of your right elbow. And then inhale, send it back, single leg plank. As you exhale, without rounding, you're going to take it across to your left elbow. It might not touch and that's fine. Inhale, bring it back to your single leg plank. Exhale, tap it to the right. Inhale into your plank. Exhale, tap it to the left. Inhale into your plank. We've got three more to each side. One more each side. Come back into your single leg plank. Keep that leg floating if you can. Inhale, shift forward. As you exhale, chaturanga. Come back into your plank and then send those hips all the way up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. You're going to drop the elbows coming into your dolphin pose. So you can hang out here if you want to build strength here. Otherwise, we're going to go for 10 of those um, dolphin push-ups. So you'll look forward. As you inhale, you'll see if you can tap your nose forward any amount. And then exhale, bring it back. If it feels better on your shoulders, you can interlace your fingers and then tap forward from there. We're going to go eight more, either little taps or eight more breaths. Looks good. One more. From your dolphin pose, you're going to press the floor away. See if you can lift both elbows at the same time into your downward facing dog. And then we're going to shift back forward into our plank pose. We've got the other side. Remember, you can drop your right knee if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll float your left leg back behind you. Inhale here. As you exhale, make the movement come from the hip and the hip flexor as you draw the left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, cross the body. It's a little turn in your hips. Inhale, send it back. Four more to each side. Take it at your own pace. It is just as hard with the knee down. <laughs> We've got one more to each side. Keep the leg floating if you can. You're going to lower down Chaturanga. Press back up to your plank and then exhale into your downward facing dog. Good news, we get to come back into that dolphin pose. <laughs> so you're so happy about it. I know you wish you didn't party so hard last night for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so that's why nobody else is here. <laughs> <laughs> you're the beast so once again you could stay here otherwise we're going to take leg lift so you'll keep your toes facing towards the floor you're not going to turn your toes out as you exhale you lift that right leg up behind you squeeze your glute and then inhale bring it down exhale take the left leg up inhale bring it down we're going to do four more on each side if this gets a lot for your shoulders you can do it from downward dog Nice work. We've got one more each side. And then from here, you're going to walk your feet back into a forearm plank. Try and keep your forearms parallel if you can. If you need a little bit of a break, you can interlace your fingers and think of squeezing your elbows towards each other. And that will help to recruit your chest a little bit more and take it out of your shoulders. 
Knees can be down if you need to. Send energy back through the heels. I'm going to take five more breaths here. Nice work. We've got two more breaths. One more. Lower your knees, untuck your toes, lower your thighs. If you interlace your fingers, uninterlace them and come into sphinx pose. So you're going to press your pubic bone down, lengthen your lower spine, draw your elbows back towards your rib cage isometrically, and then think of reaching your sternum through the gateway of your arms. Your gaze doesn't have to be forward. You can bring it down towards your thumb so the back of your neck is long. Take two more breaths here. Enjoy this because we're coming back into a plank. <laughs> spicy. I just want spicy tamale. Alrighty. You're going to tuck under your toes. So think of lifting your pelvis first. So engage your lower belly, lift your pelvis up, and then lift your knees up. You're going to swing, uh, you're going to angle your right arm in as much as you need to to come into a side plank. So whatever feels the best on your shoulder. And again, if you need to drop that bottom knee, drop it, take a peek down. Your right elbow is pretty much in line with your feet. You're going to take an inhale here. As you exhale, that left hand is going to come all the way underneath your rib cage. And then you're going to reach it down. See if you can tap your thigh and then open it back up to the sky. Take an inhale. As you exhale, first thread it under the rib cage and then reach it down to the thigh. Inhale, open it up. We're gonna do three more. One more. Inhale, come back into your side plank. We're going to do a leg lift. So as you exhale, you're going to take that left leg floated up to the sky. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, float it up. Inhale, bring it down. We've got three more. Try not to crunch through your side waist. Try and make it come from your hip. That's it. And then we're going to come back straight to the other side. So angle that left forearm in, drop your bottom knee if you need to. Right hand comes to the sky. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, first thread the hand under the rib cage and then bring it down. See if you can tap your knee. Inhale, open it to the sky. Exhale, thread it under. Tap the thigh. Inhale, open it up. You've got three more here. Beautiful. We're coming into those leg lifts so you can come up onto your palm if you want to. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, top leg lifts. Try not to crunch through your waist. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale to lift. Inhale, bring it down. Three more. And then come back in through your forearm plank. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the knees, lower the hips. Come into your sphinx pose just for a breath. Inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to lower it all the way down to the floor. You're going to bring your right arm out to the side like a little cactus and your left arm underneath your, or your left hand underneath your shoulder. As you inhale, you're going to press into that left hand and look towards the left. So you should feel a nice stretch through that right shoulder. This doesn't feel good for your shoulder. You can angle your arm. Kind of up and down or you can come back to what we did before with your little cupcake hands and then we're going to reverse it so you'll take the left hand in a cactus right hand underneath the shoulder press down through the right hand look towards the right And then come back through center. We're going to come to Chaturanga and we're going to add some movement to it. So you can keep your knees down if you need to. Hands under your shoulders, knees up or down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press up halfway. Come into your Chaturanga. 
You could definitely stay here. Otherwise, take an inhale. As you exhale, right toes tap to the side. Inhale them through center. Exhale, left toes tap. Inhale through them through center. So you can definitely do this with your knees down. Just whatever leg is not tapping, the opposite knee will be down. And if you need to bring this back up to plank, then you can. That's it. Give me two more breaths. Yes. And then press it all the way back up to plank. Eat. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. Look towards the top of your mat. Slow baby steps up towards the backs of your wrists. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Generous bend in the knees, drop the tail, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Umbrella. Yes, I am. I'm just going to move my mat. We're going to come into sun salutation A. So as you inhale, sweep those arms all the way up and overhead. And then as you exhale, dive up. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, step, walk, or float, chaturanga, or you can skip it. Inhale, you'll come back to plank. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Your vinyasa or skip it and go straight to downward dog. Look to the top, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Look to the top, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. We're going to do four more rounds. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, your vinyasa. Look to the top, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Your vinyasa. Don't leave your hips behind when you come up. So bring your hips up. So try not to try not to lead with your chest. Try to bring your hips up like you've got a rope attached to them. Does that make sense? Look to the top, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Chaturanga. That's it. And then come back up. Bring your hips with you. So don't lead from here. Lead from there. And then come into your downward dog. We'll do one more round. Look to the top. Step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Through your vinyasa. Yeah, that's a bit better. As you inhale, you're going to sweep your right leg up. As you exhale, shift forward, right knee to right elbow. Keep your plank. As you inhale, bring the knee to the wrist. Exhale, elbow. Inhale, wrist. Exhale, elbow. We've got three more. Inhale, three-legged dog, sweep the leg up. As you exhale, cross the body, right knee, left elbow. Same thing as you inhale it to the wrist, exhale up. Inhale, wrist, exhale up. Three more. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step through. We're coming to warrior two. Drop the back foot. Inhale, cartwheel yourself all the way up. And we're going to settle in for a few breaths on this first one. One more breath. 
you're going to flip your front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, we're coming to side angle pose. So you can go forearm to thigh or right hand to the inside. Option to open the shoulder, take that left hand behind, see if you can find your inner right thigh. We're just going to do a half bind for this first round. We'll come into a full bind later. We've got one more breath. We're going to reverse our warrior as we inhale. As we exhale, we're going to come into a twisted crescent. So you're going to start to pivot yourself all the way towards the right. So your back heel will lift, your left arm will sweep forward, and your right arm will sweep back. We're just in an open twist. Draw your right hip forward slightly as you rotate your right rib cage to the back of the mat. You're going to come up through your crescent lunge. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, plant the hands. We're going to step back to plank. Take a nice deep inhale here. We're going to lower down to chaturanga. We're going to hold. Lower the knees if you need to. We're here for four, five, four, three, two, one. Press the floor away. Plank and then downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep that left leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, shift forward, left knee, left elbow. Inhale it to the wrist, exhale it up. Inhale, wrist, exhale up. Three more. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross the body, left knee, right elbow. Inhale to the wrist, exhale it up. Four more. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the left foot forward, preparing for warrior two. And when you're ready, come all the way up. And we'll stay here for five breaths. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, that left hand comes down for your side angle. Option to reach that right arm back, find your left hip crease and open up the shoulder without borrowing from the lower back. So keep lengthening both sides of your waist. You're going to release your bind. Inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, you're going to start to pivot all the way to the left. Pop onto the back toes. Step your foot a little bit wider. Arms come wide. Rotate your left rib cage back. So your left hip draws forward. Yeah, so you're thinking your hips are both facing the front of the room and your left rib cage is spiraling towards the back of the room. One more breath. Arms um, sweep up, inhale, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank pose. Take an inhale, shift forward. As you exhale, chaturanga, we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, nice work, 2, one, press it away. Beautiful. Downward facing dog. We're going to hop to Malasana. So look to the top of your mat, step, walk, or float the feet to the outsides of the hands. You can bring your hips up as much as you need to to make this comfortable. Press into the outside edges of your feet. So try not to just collapse to the inside. If that means you need to turn your toes forward more, then that's good. 
See if you can reach your hands out in front of you. Use your glutes to draw your knees in line with your toes. And if you need to come up onto your toes a bit and lift your heels, then you can. We're going to take the left hand down. As you inhale, you're going to sweep the right arm up to the sky. And then exhale, bring it down. Switch it out. Right hand down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, bring it down. We do one more on each side. You're going to take your left hand. You're going to see if you can wrap it around your left shin. So your palm will kind of do a flip towards the back of the room and then up towards the sky. And then you're going to see if you can sweep your right hand around your back and maybe grab a bind. It may or may not happen. You're opening your right shoulder up towards the floor and trying to keep pressing into um, all four corners of both of your feet. It's a big shoulder opener. And then we'll release and we'll take it to the other side. So the right hand will wrap in front of your shin. Take your left hand up and around. See if maybe you can grab the bind and maybe you can't. Maybe you just kind of hang on to your shorts or find your hip crease. Sort of where I am. Yep, that's it. Nice. That's it. Keep pressing down into the outside edge of that left foot. There you go. One more breath. And then as you exhale, you're just going to straighten out the legs, eek, forward fold. That is deceptively hard. Heel toe your feet towards each other. Take an inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, we're going to stay. Five breaths. You're going to keep your chair pose. You're going to interlace your fingers behind your head. Take your elbows nice and wide. So gently press the back of your head into your hands to help to lengthen the back of your neck. You might have to come out of your squat a little bit depending on your flexibility. Keep as much of a squat as you can. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, keep the left leg bent. You're going to bring the right knee towards the left elbow. So you're going to twist towards. They probably won't touch, but they might. Inhale, you'll come back into your chair. Exhale, ground down through the right foot. Keep the knee bent. See if you can twist. That's it. Inhale, come down. Exhale, press into the left foot. Left elbow comes towards incoming right knee. Inhale it down. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale it down. So keep pressing your head back into your hands. Try not to crank your head towards your knee. We do two more on each side. And once you're even, inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float with or without a vinyasa. Make your way to downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it straight through. Warrior two, inhale. As you exhale, come straight into your side angle pose. Inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, we're going to pivot all the way towards the right, coming into that twisted lunge. Inhale, come up into your crescent. Exhale, hands plant. Option to keep the right leg floating as you bring it through your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Warrior two as you inhale. Side angle pose as you exhale. Reverse your warrior as you inhale. Turn all the way towards the left as you exhale. Yes. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. Exhale, hands plant. Option to keep that left leg floating as you come through your vinyasa. So this is going to be our Surya Namaskar B. Look towards the top. We're going to step walk or float to Malasana. Feet to the outsides of the hands. Inhale, reach the hands out in front of you. Exhale, press all the way to stand. Heel toe the feet, hips distance. Inhale, come into your chair. 
Exhale, interlace the hands behind your head, elbows wide. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, right knee lifts, twist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left knee lifts. Inhale through center, release the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward for warrior two. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pivot all the way to that twisted crescent. Inhale, come up through your crescent lunge. Exhale, hands plant. Vinyasa, downward dog. Cool. From your downward dog, inhale, sweep your left leg up. Ex exhale, step it through for warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pivot all the way to that twisted crescent. Inhale, come up through crescent. Exhale, hands plant with or without a vinyasa, downward dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Malasana. Inhale, reach those hands forward. Exhale, press all the way to stand. Heel toe the feet in. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lift the right leg, twist towards the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, other side. Inhale through center, release the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Step the right leg forward for... Uh, warrior two, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, come all the way to that twisted crescent. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, downward dog. Left leg comes up, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, twist a crescent. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, down dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float, malasana. Inhale, reach those hands out in front of you. This time as you exhale, we're going to stand, but we're going to sweep the right arm back, twist towards the right. Inhale, we're coming all the way back into Malasana. If it's too much, you just come as low as you can. Exhale, stand, twist to the left. Inhale through your Malasana. Exhale, twist right. Inhale it down. Exhale, stand and twist left. We do three more to each side. When you come down into Malasana, try and make sure that your knees keep tracking with your second and third toes. So try not to just let your knees collapse into the midline. One more each side. You'll heel toe your feet back towards each other. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. As you exhale, right elbow hooks to the outside edge of the left knee. You can stay here. If you want to add a little bit of spice, you'll shift your weight into your left foot and then you'll float that right leg up behind you. You can stay here. Otherwise, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to shut the door behind you with that right leg, send it to the back of the room. And then inhale, draw it in. Exhale, float it if you can, tap it if you need to. Inhale it back in. We're gonna do six more here. A 
from your twisted chair, you're gonna step your right foot to the back of the mat. We're opening up into warrior two. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, come into side angle. You could stay here, otherwise you could take that half bind that we did before, or you can bring your left arm underneath your left leg, see if it can find your right hand behind your back, or maybe you just grab onto your pants, coming into the full bind. We're going to take this into a balance. So either with your full bind or your half bind, you're going to keep your arms where they are. You're going to start to hop your right leg forward. We're going to stand on our left leg. So ground down through your left foot. See if you can come up onto your right toes. And then see if you can start to float your right leg any amount as if you're coming into um, half moon pose. Ooh, man, my quad is on fire. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You do you. And then you're going to release it, just coming to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Oh my God, my quad. <laughs> Take an inhale here. As you exhale, that left hand, uh, sorry, that left elbow will come to the outside of the right knee even off through your kneecaps. Feel free to stay here. This side might be different to the other. Otherwise, you're gonna float that left leg up behind you. Again, feel free to stay here. Otherwise, inhale. As you exhale, that left leg extends back behind you. Maybe it floats, maybe it taps. Inhale it back in. Exhale, send it long. Inhale it back in. We've got six more. You're going to step that left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Come into your warrior two. Take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, come down into your side angle. Same options as before. You can come into the half bind or you can hang out in the full bind. One more breath. Keeping however much of a bind you can. You're going to start to hop that left leg forward. We're shifting weight into the right foot and seeing if we can float our left leg off any amount. And you could just come into your normal half moon. And then you're going to release whatever you've got. Come into a forward fold. Shake out your legs. Ooh. Inhale, you'll come into your chair pose when you're ready. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. You're going to inhale, sweep that right leg up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to step it all the way through. Come into your warrior two as you inhale. Straighten your front leg as you exhale. Inhale, reverse your triangle. As you exhale, your right hand is going to reach towards the front of the room. So your palm is up, but you're reaching long. So it's not coming down to your shin. You could stay here. Otherwise, make this harder. Left hand reaches overhead like you're grabbing a giant beach ball. Take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, you're just going to take your hands up to the sky. So we're going to use our side waist. And then inhale, come into this power triangle. Exhale, bring it up. Excuse me. Inhale, bring it down. We're just going to do three more. And then we're going to release all the way into our triangle pose. You can keep that hand up. Otherwise, you can bring your left hand behind your back, come into a little bit of a shoulder opener. Wherever you are, gentle bend in through that right knee. So don't just hyperextend.
One more breath. We're going to come up to star pose. So as you inhale, you'll turn your toes to face the long end of your mat. And then as you exhale, you're going to come into goddess pose. You're going to hold your goddess pose. You're going to take your hands out like warrior two, but turn your fingers up to the sky. As you inhale, you're going to turn your head towards the left. And then as you exhale, come through center. Inhale, turn to the right. Exhale through center. If this is a lot, like if you feel like a lot of neural tension coming down through your arm, you just bring your fingertips so that they face like a normal warrior. Here, one more in each direction. Inhale, you'll come up into your star. And then as you exhale, we're going to flow towards the front of the mat coming in to our high plank pose. You can drop your knees here if you need to. You'll take an inhale. As you exhale, those right toes tap to the right. Inhale them center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale center. You'll do three more like this. Last ones. We're going to come to a slow chaturanga. So if you want to, you can keep this little tap of your feet as we lower down for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to come back up for five, four, three, two, one. Send those hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. Inhale, sweep that left leg up to the sky. As you exhale, step it through. Warrior two, as you inhale, straighten your front leg as you exhale. Reverse your triangle as you inhale. As you exhale, left fingertips reach towards the front of the mat. Stay here or reach that right hand over for your power triangle. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, use your sideways to lift yourself up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, take it up. Inhale, bring it down. We'll do three more. Last one. And then bring yourself all the way down into your triangle pose. Option to take your normal triangle or you can take that half bind opening up through the shoulder. As you inhale, come up into your star pose, face the long end of your mat. And then as you exhale, you're going to come into your goddess pose, bring your hands to your thighs. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to dip the left shoulder, look towards the right. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, dip the right shoulder, look towards the left. Inhale, come up. You'll do four more on each side. One more each side. As you inhale, come up through your star. And then as you exhale, cartwheel yourself through to a high plank pose. We're coming to a side plank, so modify how you need to. Elbow, knee, whatever you need to do. Right hand is down. If you're stacked, you're going to stagger your right foot in front. So you're going to do a little switchy poo with your feet. That's it. As you inhale, reach that left arm overhead. As you exhale, bottom knee, top elbow crunch. Inhale, take it long. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, take it long. We'll do three more. Last one. Inhale it long. Exhale, come through center. And we're going to take it straight to the other side. So that left foot will come in front of the right. Inhale, reach the right arm long. As you exhale, crunch. Bottom knee, top elbow. Inhale it long. Exhale to crunch. Three more. Inhale it long. Exhale, come through your plank. Option for a vinyasa. Otherwise, go straight to downward dog. 
closet place is always there if you need it. In your downward dog, you're going to take your right hand, reach towards your left ankle, knee, shin, wherever you can grab. Draw, uh, draw your right elbow towards the right as you look out underneath your left armpit. You can stay here if you want to challenge your balance. You can start to get light on those right toes and see if you can float your right leg up any amount. Wherever you're at, we're here for three more breaths. You'll set the right foot down if you lifted it. Set the right hand down. Left hand finds the right leg somewhere. Take the left elbow towards the left. Look out underneath the right armpit. And again, if you want to challenge that balance, you get light on those left toes and see if you can float the leg. One more breath here. and then slowly set it down. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk or float. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, you're nearly there. Inhale, coming to your chair pose. Exhale, right knee to chest. Cross your right ankle over the bottom of your left thigh and sink into your figure four. You can take your hands wherever you want. You can rest your elbows on top of your leg or in front of your shin. If you wanna turn this into a twist, you can either take your right hand to the floor and then take your left hand up, or you could try and hook your right elbow into the sole of your um, right foot. My limbs are not long or flexible enough to do that, so I just go hand to floor. I'm twisting towards my foot, but you can, you can go either way. It, it really doesn't matter which way you go. I just like this way. A figure, figure four on its own is pretty good. I'm going to take one more breath. And then you'll set that right foot down, come into your chair, take an inhale. As you exhale, left knee to chest. Left ankle will cross over the right thigh, so you can come into your figure four and stay there. Or you could fall over, or you could come into the twist. We'll take one more breath here. And then slow release. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, vinyasa or skip it. Come into downward dog. Inhale, you're gonna sweep that right leg up. As you exhale, step forward for crescent lunge. As you inhale, sweep your hands up and overhead. As you exhale, interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, open the collarbones. As you exhale, you're going to dive your chest forward. The right shoulder will come to the inside of your right knee if you can. Otherwise, it can come on top of your thigh. And if it's comfortable for you, you'll reach your hands overhead in this variation of Humble Warrior. As you inhale, you come all the way back up to crescent. As you exhale, your hands come through heart center. Inhale here. As you exhale, left elbow hooks to the outside of the right knee. You can drop your back knee here if you want to. As you inhale, you'll come back through crescent lunge, hello front leg. And then as you exhale, with or without a vinyasa, downward dog. Last standing poses. Inhale, sweep that left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. As you exhale, interlace the fingers the weird way behind your back. Move one finger over. Inhale, open the collarbones. And then as you exhale, come forward, humble warrior.
inhale come all the way back up to crescent exhale hands through heart center take an inhale sternum to thumbs and then as you exhale right elbow to the outside of the left knee Inhale, come back through crescent. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Inhale, that right leg sweeps. Exhale, step it through. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, reach the sternum forward. You could stay here. Otherwise, you can bend the back knee. Take the right hand back. See if you can catch that incoming left foot and get a quad stretch. You could also grab a towel. <laughs> You can do it. Go, go, gadget fingers. And then you'll slow release. You're going to straighten out through your front leg. You're going to take your left hand down and then inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the sky for a twisted half split. You could stay static here, or I like to move, so you'll inhale, open yourself, and then as you exhale, you'll thread that right arm underneath the left. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread it under. We'll take three more breaths here. And then you'll bend the front knee, lift the back knee, step back in true plank with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, reach the sternum forward as you inhale. Feel free to stay, otherwise bend that back knee. See if you can grab a hold of the foot. Yes, yes, nice. I feel like I just need to be in this position all day. I'm so tired. Yeah. You release that back foot. As you inhale, you'll straighten out through the front leg. Take the right hand down. And then on your next inhale, sweep the left arm up. Remember, you could stay here. Otherwise, as you exhale, you'll thread that left arm underneath the right. Inhale, open it up. We'll do four more. Inhale it up. Exhale, come back into your runner's lunge. Lift the back knee. Final vinyasa if you want it. Otherwise, straight to downward dog. <laughs> Yes. Look towards the top of your mat. You're going to step, walk, or float through to a seat. We're going to finish with a Gomukhasana twist. So you will take your right leg underneath. So your knee will face towards the top of the mat. Your heel is by your left hip. And then you'll stack your left leg on top. That's it. And then you could definitely stay here. If you wanted to take a shoulder opener, your right hand comes up and over and your left hand comes from behind and you can try and find the bind there. And that's a really nice, quote unquote, nice shoulder tricep opener. If you wanted to take a twist, you would take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee and go from there. So it's really whatever you're feeling like you need. And then we're going to release. We're going to come through boat pose. Don't worry, we're not going to be here for long. You're going to reach your hands out in front of you. Take an inhale. As you exhale, sweep the right hand back behind you without bringing the right leg with you. And then inhale it to center. Exhale, sweep back to the left. Inhale through center. We've just got four more on each side.
one more each side. And then we'll switch those legs. So now the left leg is underneath and the right leg stacks on top. Oof. Same again, you could take that left arm up and over and the right hand from beneath for the shoulder opener, or you could come into that twist with the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And then you're going to unravel yourself. You're just going to extend your legs out in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms up and towards the sky. And then as you exhale, forward fold, Paschimottanasana. And then slowly roll yourself up. We're going to make our way towards our final position. So if you want to finish seated, then you can do that. Otherwise, you'll scoot yourself to the top of your mat and roll down into a Shavasana, wherever you want to go. I like being seated. So you'll turn your palms up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose, draw the shoulders up to the ears. And then a big open mouth exhale, let it go. Do one more like that. Inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. I'll give you a couple of minutes of silence here. As always, if there's any other movements or positions you need, feel free to take them. When you're ready, you're slowly going to bring some movement back into your body, wiggling your fingers, taking a few shoulder rolls, maybe a few torso circles, pivoting around your pelvis. And then you'll come up to sit nice and tall, bring your hands together at your forehead today as you go forward may you have clarity in your thoughts for the mouth may you have kindness in your words and for the heart may you live your truth namaste